Hey guys, it's the Editor Editor. I'm coming at you guys with another video, and in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, some of the leaks that were found in uh, data mining. And there's some pretty cool stuff in this. As you can see in the title, it says something about properties, uh, which is correct. I'm not joking. I'm going to go ahead and get into the nitty gritty here. Uh, as you can see, I'm putting it on screen right now. There's a bunch of different properties uh, listed here. There's eight different ones, such as document underscore butcher underscore creek underscore shack underscore deed. Uh, it says 50. Uh, and then, you know, there's a crop farm, a different crop farm, a lodge farm, McFarland's Ranch, St. Denis Mansion, and Silent Stead or Steed, and Strawberry Hotel Room. Uh, all of these, as you can see, the price, 500, 100, 100, 125, 45, 680, and 60, those are not dollars. Uh, those are actually gold prices. That is what this guy told me, the two smoking barrels guy. Uh, this guy is actually reputable. He's one of the guys that works on the uh, Gene Ropke map. Uh, and he also talks to uh, Tez Funds, if you guys know who that is. And he hit me up telling me this uh, actually a good few days ago. It's been almost a week uh, since he hit me up about this. I've just been too busy with other stuff to post a video on it. I should have posted one a little bit sooner, but I'm going to do it now. And yeah, all of these are gold prices, which is uh, a really insane amount of gold, especially for the St. Denis Mansion, 600 gold. I'm sure most of the Red Dead population don't just have 600 gold laying around. Uh, from the way y'all talk, it sounds like y'all don't even have have enough gold to buy a roll. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to play out. This is just leaks in the code, so th in the future there could be changes to this. Like, there could be a money option uh, instead of 600 gold, but imagine how much money 600 gold would be. That's a lot. But yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but in the Stranger missions, they did up the gold payout. Same with Story missions. They did up the gold payout quite a bit. It's like double the gold now. Uh, but for the daily challenges, you still get the same amount of gold. And yeah, it's kind of crazy, uh, the prices here. Uh, some of them aren't that bad. Like for the Butcher Creek Shack, it's only 50. And then for the McFarland's Ranch Deed, that's only 45. That's basically how much the Outlaw Pass is. So that's not too bad. But the St. Denis Mansion, like four, 600 gold, that thing better do a lot of stuff for you. Uh, but I am interested into seeing what this stuff actually will do. We don't exactly know what it will do. Like, we don't know if this is a business that you can buy that will passively make you income. I mean, that's what I assume. I don't know exactly how the St. Denis Mansion would make you any type of income unless it's going to turn into a safe house of some kind. I could see how a hotel room or a ranch would, uh, would make you money. Or a farm. I'm not really sure exactly what the mansion is going to do. I I'm really excited to see what happens. There's no, like, window of when this will come out. I assume around the November area, November, December. I assume around then is when we'll get this or hear some more news about it. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the property things. So, uh, it's basically up to our imagination, really, of what these things are going to do and how it's going to look uh, whenever we actually get this update to the game. And then here's another little piece of leaked code. There's going to be peyote-style plants, like in GTA. Like, if you eat a certain peyote plant, you'll turn into an animal. Uh, apparently, that's going to be uh, in Red Dead Online as well. As you can see, Fee Roll Naturalist Animal Control Critter. Uh, that means that you'll be able to control a critter, I reckon. And there's going to be some type of control potion or some type of thing that you'll be able to make. And the pamphlet is 12 gold. I guess this is like a pamphlet for the thing that you make to control a certain animal. I'm not exactly sure what this is. If you guys know more about coding than me, then please uh, let me know down in the comments what you think this means. And also the coupon offer pamphlet animal control discount 5 gold is a discount... Uh, that will come out for the pamphlet. And that's all he knows about the animal control stuff for now. And then down here, uh, if you see this, it's just a, uh, it looks like a dialogue line from a NPC. I'm not exactly sure what NPC that is. I don't know who um, 0XDFO687FC is, but it says, I have broken through. I have been transported. I have finally achieved the connection of Sykes that I have been working towards all these years. An exchange of vital forces, the gift to see through a rabbit's eyes, to feel its curiosity and its cunning. I always knew it could be done. The key is the flower, my own discovery. Harrietum officinalis? I reckon this is a uh, Harriet talking here. Uh, three samples while making physical contact with a vestige of the fauna in question, and it opened an impossible world. Whatever she is saying there, she is saying some interesting stuff. Sounds like something that a uh, modern-day pothead would say. That's a good bit of audio data mining for you guys. But as you can see here, right here it says the quote-unquote deeds mentioned above are priced in gold. Two smoking barrels. So yeah, that does confirm that the deeds that we were talking about are priced in gold. 
So yeah, that's going to be insane. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to play out. Like I said, like I don't know who in the world is going to be able to afford 600 gold for a mansion. Unless you're one of those guys that just has a load of gold just kind of sitting there. Somebody that has like a 400 day streak on dailies or something. But me, I had a, I had like a 100 day streak before and I only worked up about 500 gold bars off of that. So this is going to be interesting. I'm excited to see how this, uh, how this plays out. But down in the comments, please let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, it would be interesting to hear what you guys think. Because I'm not 100% sure like what code means. I mean, I know what coding is, but like, you know, the way it's worded is a lot different than, you know, the way we talk such as fee roll naturalist animal control critter it's a little vague but yeah tell me what you guys think about this in the comments and also brainstorm some ideas down in the comments as well i'd like to hear what you guys think uh like what is the mansion gonna do i'm really excited to see what that's gonna do i don't know if it's just gonna be a safe house or if it's actually gonna produce you money in some way if that thing is 600 gold it better produce something uh, because that is expensive. But li like I was saying, I, I understand how a hotel room can make you money. Because people rent the hotel room, uh, you know, for a f couple nights. And then, you know, it gets rented again and again and again. Like a real life hotel room. Um, or like McFarland's Ranch. You know, it's got like cows and different animals there. And also they grow stuff, I think. Uh, so, you're, you know, I could see how that could make money. In a lodge farm, they cut down trees and sell them. Uh, they sell the lumber. So I could see how that could make money. And, uh, you know, different crop farms and everything. I could see how those would make money. Now, Butcher Creek Shack, I'm not exactly sure what that's going to do either. I don't know how you would make any type of money from a shack, but we'll see what happens there. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys like this video, then give it a like. If you dislike this video, then give it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, like Red Dead Online content, then go ahead and hit the sub button and you will see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.